At its recent I.O. event, Google launched Stitch, a generative AI tool that helps developers turn rough UI ideas into functional app-ready designs. Powered by Gemini 2.5 Pro, Stitch is currently available as an experimental feature on Google Labs and can convert text prompts and visual references into fully functional front-end code and complex UI layouts in minutes. Stitch bridges the design engineering gap, sparing developers from manually creating design elements and coding them. Stitch creates visual interfaces using selected themes and natural language descriptions, currently supported in English. Developers can specify design details like color palettes or user experience preferences. They can also upload visual references, such as wireframes, hand-drawn sketches, or screenshots of existing UIs to guide the generation process. Stitch allows users to generate multiple variants of an interface, making it easier to experiment with different styles and layouts. The UI assets are generated alongside fully functional front-end code that can be added directly into apps or exported to Figma to refine the design elements, integrate with existing design systems, and collaborate with designers. The Figma export option simplifies the process of making changes to specific visual elements. The automatic coding aspect of Stitch positions it as a potential rival to Figma's Make UI Building app, announced earlier. However, Google may be hoping that Stitch is the solution to prevent designers who are using Gemini's Code Assist tool from jumping ship entirely. Even though Stitch was designed primarily with developers in mind, it's also incredibly useful for designers. It speeds up the design process by quickly generating multiple interface ideas from simple descriptions or sketches, so designers don't have to start from scratch. Beyond that, it serves as a source of inspiration, helping designers explore creative possibilities they might not have considered and focus more on creativity and refinement. Stitch is available in beta at labs.google/stitch. Give it a try and let us know what you think in the comments below.